Everything that will come from Jesus' redemptive sacrifice has to be free. Everything that will come from Jesus' redemptive sacrifice has to be free. If it is Jesus, it is freely given. Anything you have to pay for or anything you have to make an exchange for or anything you have to tap into with money is not what Jesus' redemptive sacrifice has provided. Now, we have looked at the word, the gift of God. It is the gift of God. John chapter 4 verse 14. Acts chapter, now let me read, it says, Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give, I shall give. It is gifted. I shall give. Look at Acts 2, 38. Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, which means it's freely given. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 8, 20. Acts chapter 8, verse 20. <clears throat> but Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee. Because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. You can't buy what God gives. Because it is freely given. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Are you still here? Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So the gift of God will have to be free. Last Sunday I said, how will you want to have a father that you pay before he talks to you? A father that you can't have his audience till you pay. What kind of useless father is that? Huh? When you want to talk to him, you sow a seed. If you want him to answer you fast, you sow a sacrificial seed. And if you want him to answer you fast, fast, you sow a heavy sacrificial seed. Is he a father or an area father or a businessman wearing the cloth of a father? Whatever the father gives is freely given. He that spared not his son, nothing is as precious as the son. Nothing is as precious as his son. He that spared not his son, but gave him up for us all, how shall he, uh, not, how shall he not also with him freely give us all things? The day of that transactionary gospel is over. That day is over. That day is over. A pastor called me from Ghana within the week. Mama was in the room with me. And he said, Dr. Damina, you have spoiled the entire business for pastors. I said, I have just started. He said, you know, a pastor came from Nigeria to Ghana and he was lamenting that your teachings have made Christians not to be given. I said, it's not my teaching. It is their teaching that deceived Christians my teaching now opened the eyes of Christians to see that they have been deceived. So they stop giving to recover first. Then they will now hear what the right thing should be before knowing what to do. Then the pastor now said to me, he's a, he's a very big pastor in Ghana. He has, he has a Bible school. He trains pastors in thousands. He now said to me, now Dr. Damina, I am a secret student of your teaching and I agree with what you're teaching. But you need to help us pastors. Teach us what to do now that there is tithing is not New Testament. We can no more intimidate and manipulate people. What do we do going forward? I told him, don't worry, I'm going to do a book on ministry 
and the life of a minister. And I said to him, every preacher of the gospel will have to look for a business, a source of sustenance, and stop depending on tithe and offerings because if you have money for yourself, you won't manipulate the gospel to get anything from anybody. And he said to me, can you do videos on that? I said, we teach it exclusively in our Bible schools. I am not responsible for how the body of Christ behaves. I'm only responsible for the people under my spiritual covering. Are we teaching good? Say with me, everything that comes from Jesus is freely given. Everything that comes from Jesus. Everything that comes from Jesus is freely given. <laughs> that means it will have no conditions to eat. Do this for God to do this. Fraud. If you don't do this, God cannot do this. Scam. In capital letters. If it's given by Jesus, it has no conditions attached. Because the spirit is given after Jesus has paid the price. So the gift of the spirit or the giving of the spirit has no conditions at all to eat. It has no conditions at all to eat. It's 30 days of glory 2020.